Hi, it's Laura Lee here and I just wanted to share with you today, come live to you today because I believe I have a word in season for this time for some people and for the body of Christ. I believe God is saying it's the Kairos time, it's the right time, right season, right now where it's time to take the promised land and I believe that God is revealing strategies and and, uh, and causing people to receive strategies where you felt that it's uh, it's been a wilderness time for you. I believe that God is bringing some strategies for you from heaven and, and I feel like God's saying it says in Numbers uh, 27, 12 actually it says that uh, where, where God's talking to Moses and to go up and look, he takes him to the high place, he takes him to the mountain to look over at the promised land and I feel like God is saying that as well for his people. Go up to the high place, go up into God's presence and look for the promised land and look to see what God has for you and I feel actually there's a little bit of a play on words with promise and land so for some people it's literally the promise that God is is giving you the things that he's uh, that he's already given and uh, in promises in prophecies in the past it's time to look again but for some people actually I feel like the promised land the land the emphasis on land is what God is saying at this time there's some people that I feel that God wants to encourage you because there's there's a possession of land there's possession of of uh, of, of literal land and and buildings and and uh, and, and taking of Ground that is uh, that God is establishing in this time, and and I believe God is saying, go and look again. For some people, that's a word of wisdom for you because you you feel like you're in the wilderness, and you feel like that it's uh you you may have missed it actually. But I feel like God is saying, go up and look again. Also, go to the high place, go to that mountain top, go to the presence of God and build the presence of God. Be extravagant with your worship. That's where you'll see the promised land. Be extravagant in building. Wait upon the glory of God to come around about you and to be built around about you. And from that place, speak that which is not as though it were. And from that place, cause uh, God's kingdom to come, God's will be done uh, in your life and, and on this earth. And from the glory of God, from God's presence. And, and I believe that also that that, are, that it's like uh, some people are experiencing some where the enemy is aware of different things that you're about to step into. It's almost like actually uh, I feel like God's saying a, 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 a Leviathan spirit has come around about you and, 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 and brought an assault. The enemy has used this. And, and so it, it's good to be aware of uh, what that dynamic is. And, I, and, and I'm reminded of... Uh, uh, the right response when there's a Leviathan spirit. So what is a Leviathan spirit? So according to scripture, that you know there's a twisting, the, the, the twisting of words, the twisting of, of communication uh, and, and the, the wrong communication, misunderstanding is coming across. When you feel there's a Leviathan spirit um, uh, being activated in your life and active in, in your surroundings, the response to that is to forgive and to bless your enemies, so to speak, bless those that wrong you. And that in itself is a powerful warfare at this time. And I believe that's a key for some people at this time we want to uh, we want to go into spiritual warfare against the enemy sometimes but sometimes the right response is to stand and forgive and to love and to bless our enemies and I just feel this is an important strategy linked with a go up and look again uh, for the promised land and I also feel that that uh, there's also uh, some people have experienced almost like a poverty spirit as well where again coming in with the the promised land that that the enemy has um, wanting to been wanting to hold back the things so I think I believe that God is saying uh, he is pulling down those strongholds that as we the, the poverty spirit that's come around about uh, in, in that place of God's presence, there is freedom and abundance and provision and breakthrough. And so go again to that high place and look for the promised land. And, and in that high place of worship, there will be strategies from heaven that will cause even the, the nullifying of the poverty spirit that's come to bring even a blockage 
for some people. There's some people here at this as well uh, in our community that I feel like God's saying that, that you, you feel like you've been in a wilderness and a wilderness and a wilderness and uh, it, you feel like it's taking the 40 years instead of the 10 days to come into the promise. And so I believe that even God's saying for you as well, now's the time to go up the high place and look. And I just see even actually the, the importance of the mind of Christ, that, that uh, there is an exchange going on that's causing you to have the mind of Christ, to then those strongholds that exalt themselves against knowledge of God are being pulled down in your mind so that you can receive the mind of Christ and come into and, and actually be able to go up to that high place to, to uh, see from uh, see the promised land. And, and so I just want to pray for you now. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the people that you're, you're igniting today and, and causing them to go up and speaking over their lives, that they're to go up and take another look at the promised land. And God, that well, we thank you now that you are releasing and activating promises. We thank you, God, that you're enabling your people to actually bring where there's been, it seems to be misunderstanding and maybe an activity of the Leviathan spirit. God, we thank you that you're empowering your people to forgive and to bless their enemies. And God, I thank you that even as we build your presence and build your glory around about us, every stronghold comes down. And God, you cause a nullifying and a, a removing of that blockage of the poverty spirit that it is now going to cause people to go up and to be able to look and see the promised land, to be able to go up and to obtain and have a clearer vision of the promises that you have activated. It's time to relook. There's almost like some prophecy and some promises that have they've almost been gone, uh, gone dormant and God is igniting them and activating them again and causing you to go and have another look. But for some people, land is yours. Land is for you to take. This is the right Kairos time for you to go and take that property, for you to go and take that land, for you to go and take that, that, that realm of influence even that, that, that God has for you in, in taking the land. And so right now, God, we declare there's a release over those people right now that you're wanting them to take that land, to take those properties, to to uh, to be activated in the even in your abundant blessing, in in uh, in taking the promised land and to take the promises that you have for them. So we bless them today in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Talk to you soon.